happy. Oh my God, I got to get my taxes in day. 15th of April. Hump day of all days. I have not brushed my hair today, although it isn't too much, too bad of a bedhead day. Today is pretty tame. <laughs> uh, I just changed out of a tank top into a shirt because it's a little chilly. I pulled a tank top out last night to wear the first time in a while. It was comfortable, but I got a little cold. Uh, today I got to sleep in until about 10. And then I checked a few videos. And then I called to see where the humper is because he was MIA when I woke up. And that's the only reason I woke up because Heidi was howling because Daddy was not here. So, um, today my fidgeting thing is my little bunny. <laughs> Thanks again, Sue. Although I have to say... The chocolate pezzes are just odd. I mean, they're alright, but they're nothing like the grape or the cherry ones. Yeah. So eat the chocolate ones first because they're my least favorite. I'll save the grape ones for last because they're my favorite. Um, this is the first pack I opened and I still have like 10 left. No. What is three, four, six? Yeah, I have 10 left. So I'm eating those ever so fast. Um, you know, I'm a fat girl, but I can make candy last for a long time. <coughs> I have enough candy down here to last months. Because I just don't eat a lot of it at one time. That's the way I am, I guess. I don't know. Uh, my brain isn't functioning. Today is my day off. I got my paycheck here. I got to go put in the bank, but I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna leave the house today. I think today is gonna be a stay-at-home day. The Humper's at the store. He went and got his pain medicine from the doctor, the orthopedist doctor. <clears throat> Last night, me and Grandma had a conversation on the phone, and she's like, "I told your dad we don't need to go to Arkansas. He needs to get this hip taken care of." I'm like. Well, that's what I think. But he made it sound like he promised you he'd take you. He goes, she goes, oh no, I told him the hip's more important. So between me and Grandma, I think we're going to veto the trip to Arkansas and just make him get this hip done. And I told him that last night. And um, he goes, well, I'm going to take her to Arkansas. I said, listen to what I'm saying. I talk to Grandma on phone and me and her both decide you don't need to go to Arkansas. So you can get your hip done. Are you listening to me? And he's like, no. Oh, he will get his hip done. Sooner than later. If I have to drive his buttocks to the hospital and throw him in there and say, here, cut it out and put him in a new one, people. Any of you guys, I know, uh, thanks for all the kind comments on the other video. I haven't been able to go through and comment back because... I've just been lazy, apparently. But have, if any of you guys have had a hip replacement yourself and can like make a video talking about your experience and how you feel now and what the pain level is and what, what you go through, it would be greatly appreciated just so I could show my dad, look, here's somebody who went through it. They could tell you. I don't, Heidi's starting to have a fit, so I think maybe dad might be home. Um... Yeah, now I'm playing with the clip. I, I can't help it, I fidget all the freaking time. I gotta clean my desk. I have too much crap on my desk. I do. Uh, last night, I read the rest of Paper Towns. Um, the last John Green book I have. I think I'm the only three books he's written. And I liked it. The order I like them, I think I probably like, I don't know, Paper Towns and Looking for Alaska are my two favorites. An Abundance of Catherines, I liked it, but not as well as the other two. So, uh, but they're all good. And it's so funny to watch, to read the books, knowing who the Vlogbrothers are and have watched the Vlogbrothers for a long time. And to read and so... Uh, and so picture the person that you've seen on YouTube say that. You know, you're like, that's so John Green. It's just funny. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. But, you know. 
Um, I think the daddy might be home. He went to go buy, today they're having a sale day across the street. He went to go buy some frozen pizzas, some chocolate milk. He bought a bunch of orange juice to take to the Legion because there's going to be a breakfast there this weekend. He bought them some orange juice. He bought them like 20 pizzas. They have Jack's pizzas on sale 5 for 10. And um, they sell them at the bar at the Legion and Galeen quite often when the drunks get hungry. So, yeah. Anything else I have to say? I'm waiting to hear from Lizzie. I'm curious how Lizzie's doctor's appointment went. Lizzie? I'm anxious! All right. I must go text message my friend Brian now and tell him I got to sleep in until 10. <sighs> yeah. I was talking to him on the phone last night, and I'm like, I have tomorrow off, I get to sleep in. And he's like, shut up! <laughs> so, yeah. All right, this is like a whole lot of nothing. But happy tax day, people! We filed an extension because this is craziness right now. But tomorrow should be my cousin's last day of working at that darn nuclear plant. Who wants to work at the bottom of a stupid reactor in a 15 degree room, hunched down up against the wall, scooping out ice from underneath the nuclear reactor? Who? Who wants to do that? Apparently my cousin. But he was here the other day. He looked dead. Dead. Because he works from like... Uh, he works 12 hour shifts. And... You crawl in through... Yeah, I thought I said I was going to be done, but I'm not. You crawl in through this little rabbit hole, and you're all suited up in your nuclear gear. And once you get in there, you can't leave the reactor area for your shift. So if you have to go pee, you got to hold it. You're screwed. If the town gets contaminated, you're stuck by the reactor. What? Who wants to do that? Yeah. All right. I'm done now. I'm just glad that he'll be done, and then we can start getting our business stuff done normally again. All right, bye.